Okay. Um, this is a, f a follow up tutorial to my normal mapping uh, one I did. So this will kind of be like a, a part 2.1, I guess. Um, I'm going to try and cover a bit more on this one. Uh, more to do with uh, like cavity mapping, um, AO from the height map. Because I just showed you how to make normal maps from the height map last time. So I'll show you how to how to use the height map for your diffuse as well. Um, Obviously, I'll, I'll I'll cover more of this as well when I do that gear tutorial, which is whenever I get around to it. But uh, I had a friend of mine, Jeremy. Uh, he's making some gear, and uh, he asked me to help him out, and I did the uh, kind of this pattern in here, the triangle kind of thing. I did that for him, um, and I'll show you that pattern quick as. Obviously the pattern I did, I did it quite big, I tend to do patterns big, but uh, yeah anyway, so I did the pattern as a height map, just because I like to, it's just easier to work off of a height map, but yeah, nah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the pattern I made for him. Um, obviously in this, the pattern's on an angle, which you can quite easily rotate it, but for the purpose of not wanting to fuck around, I'll get to it. So anyway, I'm um, going to make a new folder, I'm going to call it height, because I love my folders, uh, we'll duplicate this, uh, throw it in here, duplicate it again, I'll hide that one, we will change the colour to grey, oh yeah this is just a, a logo I prepared earlier, <laughs> um, yeah anyway, um, we will double click on this, stroke, um, obviously what I'm doing now is I'm making the the part that kind of goes around the outside of the shift which is in here kind of goes up and in around there and all in around here as well so um, yeah I'll do that we will set it at 20 change it to from gradient to color change the color to a gray uh, hit OK Okay, so <laughs> that random black line there, I, I couldn't figure out what it was. It was just my, um, uh, the path. Uh, anyway, we will go and we will merge that with another one. That will apply the, watch me dig it. And then, uh, um, obviously because this inside part here has all filled in, we'll fold that in as well. And we'll grab our, our marquee tool. And also do this bottom part here and actually uh, yep Nice. Um, hopefully you guys will be a bit quicker than me. Uh, anyway, so oh, I'll fix this part up too, actually. So it looks kind of nice. Uh, like that little edge. That little edge. Okay, so anyway, um, so it pretty much looks similar to this here give or take. Um, now I'm going to stroke it again. The reason I'm stroking it again is you can see it's kind of got a little bit of a lip just to the edge of the stitching which is what we need to uh, do as well. So I guess we will stroke it maybe five. Mine's always stuck on gradient, don't ask me why. Uh, we'll set it to a kind of a, a, a lightest colour because obviously we want it to pop up more than the grey. Um, the other thing we're going to do is make a new layer. And the background is going to be black. The reason we're going to make it black is obviously it needs to pop up off of something. So, yep. 
anyway uh, making this gray as well and then we are going to stroke it white um, to stroke white obviously the reason we are stroking it white is because there's obviously a fat uh, slip right there now that I look at it I don't really want to stroke two I'll stroke three and yeah, no, three looks good anyway uh, now I'll duplicate that and we will undo the stroke we'll do a pattern overlay pattern overlay is going to be this and we'll set it at about 28 uh, maybe a little bit bigger 30 30 looks about or actually yeah, 32. Yeah, it looks about right. As you can see there, it goes from about there to there. And we get something pretty similar. So obviously 32 is about a good scale. I mean, our pattern's not rotated like that, but yeah, we just we're not gonna worry about that. Um now we can duplicate that group. Merge the group, duplicate it again, and we will make a normal map out of it. I like to do my normal maps first, just because I'm strange like that. And then we will go to ah, probably fix that up. But anyway, um, got a blur, surface blur. I just like to blur my normal maps, just because I, I find it makes it look better in game. So if I blur it a little bit, now I go filter, blur goes in blur, blur it by one, overlay, press down, double cat, filter, blur, press in blur, two, overlay, and then we will go to filter, normal map, normalize only. Okay, bam, uh, okay, so that's good, uh, and that normal, uh, hang on a second, okay, I was having a weird problem where whenever I pressed M it would turn shit off, um, anyway, uh, I'm going to make a new folder, I'm going to call it diffuse, take our normal map, I'm going to invert the green channel because Sim has an inverted green channel and then I'm going to go image adjustments black and white hit ok uh, drag them so I diffuse set that to overlay and that'll kind of create a fake depth of shading in there and then we're also going to take our height map and we're going to go filter uh, X normal. X normal is another tool I use. I only use it to bake occlusions. Uh, you could Google it to find it. Uh, go height to occlusion. I keep everything in here pretty much stock, the same as it would be. Hit continue, and then I like to go filter blur. Cause blur. I tend to blur this a little bit. By a little bit, I mean quite a bit. Anyway, uh, drag that down in here. Set it to multiply, and then turn it down to about 25. That'll give it a bit more, a bit more pop as well. Anyway, um, so yeah, another thing you can do is duplicate this. Let's bring it in here and set it as. We'll try multiply. Overlay. Yeah, you can play around with it, but um, sometimes you can 
use the height map as some kind of shading. It's a little iffy, it never really works out well. That'll give it a bit extra pop if you want to. Kind of a different kind of pop to your normal map. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you got your diffuse map, your height map. Obviously, you don't really need the height map anymore because you got your diffuse, and then you have your normal map. So yeah, in game it should look a lot better with the normal map on it, as opposed to how it looks now. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, like I said, um, adding in the height map like this, I mean, you don't really have to do it. It just kind of gives it a bit, bit more pop. It's not, it's kind of fidgety and doesn't do a lot. I mean, I guess it's just up to you at the end of the day. But um, yeah, I hope, hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, see ya.